is uh, DK. It's a big hurt box versus someone who can, of course, rack you up by uh, so much and projectiles. Especially with the way that uh, we fits just abuse their their nair, especially like approaching and crossing up. That just seems like really difficult to deal with. Right, and a great three zairs in a row, but only got ten percent. Oh, and he has the absorb, of course, that he can use for that uh, sun salutation. That's right. It just comes down to really these counter picks, of what uh, determines Shine's character selection. But ooh, okay, getting the, uh, using the opportunity to do some deep breathing. Right. Shine not gonna be able to ooh. make it back. Yeah, stage striking him with that. Uh, it's gonna cause him to try to go for a thunder, but to get back to the ledge, but not gonna reach far enough. Wow, man. why is uh, we fit looking very dominant here? Right. Yeah, he's having a bit of trouble landing anything on Wadi right now. I mean, just a few conversions, all it needed, and put Shine at 87%. Okay, spot dodging and connecting with the up to. Oh my god, he really went for the deep breathing right in his face like that. But Shine trying to space outside of him. Okay, great PK fire right there. Uh, but not able to get much more out of it, and Wadi landing with that nair. Yeah, even going for deep breathing. So it looks like he's just trying to bait in uh, Shine just to get a little bit closer. Oh, oh, sniped him! Yeah, right in his face, but this boy gonna live. Try to go for another Thunder back to the ledge. Oh, and I like the angle that he went for, the reversal right there. And it will connect with Wadi, but not do too much knockback. Yeah, we see an up air connect for Shine. And a down air, wow. a landing down air from Wadi is what's gonna take the stock. We fit trainer, man. So powerful. Oh, and it... Okay, tried to time it right there so he wouldn't take a punch from that down smash, but it does catch him. And good volleyball uh, to uh, stall himself as well. Yeah, unfortunate for Shine, down smashing the incorrect direction. Does only hit on one side of Lucas, which is going to free him up to get punished very easily. Right. And Wadi again, he lands with that Nair, and then he goes right into an up air, knowing that the two will connect pretty easily. Oh, and avoiding Lucas once again. Volleyball somehow connecting, and the Sun Salutation. The Sun Salutation being shot so close to, to Shine made it very difficult <laughs> to react to it. But what, where was Wadi going? Uh, to Lucas. He wanted to <laughs> high five him. How's it going, man? Yeah, I guess that was like your high five for, for effort. <laughs> yep, yep. Right into the blast zone. <laughs> yeah, you got to go. All right, so game two. What, what's the mix up? What are we doing? I mean, it might be time to bring out a sword character. I feel like a sword character would do very well against Wii Fit. Who knows, man? Wii Fit trainer got buffed. It's time to learn about this character all over again. <laughs> I mean, I'm feeling Krom. <laughs> my, my heart says Krom. Your heart says it? All right, let's see, let's see. Shine, what, what do you want to pick? What does his heart say? Lucas? Uh, his heart says Lucas. I, I definitely understand why he wants to be Lucas in this matchup, for sure. We'll see how he can do on game two. Maybe he got the download, man. He's ready. Maybe. Well, here we go. Final destination. Dashing, taking center stage. Not opting to run in with the uh, the Zer trains that he started up with game one with. Right. And what do you, uh, you see him going for these volleyballs, but they're kind of missing Lucas a lot because this character is so small. Gives him a better chance of avoiding that. Yeah, I'm more interested to see what Shine is doing in terms of neutral. He's running in and he's keeping a certain distance, which doesn't allow uh, Wadi to actually like be in range to start anything up. But at the same time, like, Shine isn't Sheesh. really connecting anything. Right, and that back air actually going to kill after Wadi snuck in a deep breathing. Even though he got hit by the Zare, he still was able to connect the deep breathing instead of failing it. It's interesting. <laughs> and both of them just kind of floating next to each other like, no, no problem, you can land. That's right. Oh, okay, trying to spike with the back air. Going really deep off stage. Woo! In the back air, but just not the correct hitbox. Yeah, I'm surprised that he actually was not able to get the spike right there. Deserved it, but... Alright, but Wadi gonna get the grounding into an up air right there. Trying to fade back so he doesn't get punished at all after the aerials. Okay, parrying the back air. Now a dash attack to just to push Shine off stage. Getting some deep breathing in. Oh, wow, but that third fair gonna get blocked into a grab. Dash attack follow-up too, and going out deep. Yeah, you see Wadi sets up this trap where he does a volleyball where they have to either air dodge it or go for something to avoid it, and then you get hit by a fair suddenly. Yeah, but I mean, Lucas has the tools where he's able to stall out uh, just like just like uh, Wii Fit is. Right. Oh, and using that absorb to actually come on aggressively, keep himself covered to get onto the stage. Okay, dash attack on the shield, and a jab going to put Shine on stage again. Oh, almost landing the, the ball. Right. Oh, Wadi's shielding those PK fires. Uh, working his way into this. Okay, just wanted to grab so he can get the stage control. Messing up his deep breathing right here. Not going to have the power that he wants. Okay, PK Fire going to whip. And we see both our players whipping. Dash attack. Oh, Ooh. and he gets a snipe this time. Yeah, Volleyball going to connect right on the right side. Be up two stocks right now. Oh, I love the approaching with Nair. It makes it very difficult to tell if he's actually crossing up or if Weefit is just going to uh, land in front of you. Right. Somebody not playing scared at all off the stage. Just going to go for that volleyball even in the face of a PK Thunder. 
Mm. But now it's trapped on the right side. Oh, get up attack worked on down smash. Wadi has nerves of steel. I don't know <laughs> why he's challenging like all these amazing hitboxes, but he's still coming out on top. <laughs> PK Fire gonna take a stock though. Alright, yeah, yeah, because Wadi does go for quite a bit, either the deep breathing or a volleyball right there, and of course Shine gonna keep that in mind and punish it. Mm, falling there again. Very difficult to tell where he's landing, but we, now we see a Ooh. good conversion coming out from, from Shine. Yeah, now he's moving really interesting in the air. Wadi having a little bit of trouble catching him. Okay, Great yeah. in air by Shine. And up air as well. Okay, the, yeah, it looks like the traps are over, and now Wadi's able to reset, charging up his sun solution. Yeah, just backing off. Oh, and he's going to absorb that for so much percent. Wow, that I was think, like 30%. Yeah, I think the deep breathing, does that add to how much he can absorb and gain health for, or? I, I'm not even going to pretend to know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will let us know. Okay, and a great fair right there. Wadi going to not be able to recover uh, off the right side, and suddenly things looking a lot more close here. That's right. We see a down throw, but Shine not able to convert, but it lasted and Nair does. And just continuing to box uh, Wadi. Okay, and he thought that Wadi was going to go for a projectile there with the Absorb, but oh, never mind. He's got the Zair plane going on right now. Four in a row. Knocking Wadi to the right side, and he's trapped at the ledge. Just a corner carry if I've ever seen one. Right. Now, Shine just really trying to keep Wadi on the right side of the stage. Usually we see Weefit's looking very comfortable on the on these ledges, but uh, yeah. it doesn't look like Wadi wants to be in that position. Yeah, Wadi isn't really one of the Weefits that you see like working a crazy off the ledge, just playing around with the volleyball and all that. He just gets back onto the stage and starts charging things up, but again, gonna challenge a down smash. I'm so surprised he's not trading. Well, the the wake up attack from Lex does have a lot of invincibility. You right, do keep right. your invincibility until after it goes away. That's fair. Or until after you swing. Ooh, and I'm surprised he didn't get another absorb right there. Looked like he did have the read on it, so he just went for the shield instead. Oh. Throwing, throwing out a big F smash, but it does wait. But we can see the F smash, F tilt from Wadi. Okay, and he's gonna off to charge that up instead of going for uh, deep breathing or anything. Well, the forward air connects, and now we see uh, Shine actually able to block the volleyball with the PK fire. Ooh, one hit away for each of these players. Oh, goodness! Yeah, he tried to set up a PK fire, it looked like, but instead gonna get hit by the sun salutation. Wow, I'm taking a game against Lucas with an energy projectile. <laughs> Yeah, very impressive, because you can tell that Shine like, kind of knows when those are coming out, but that last one just caught him off guard, and he's going to lose that game, too. And now looking like he's thinking a little bit. Nope, never mind. We're going to stick on to that Lucas. Oh, wait, he hasn't the, selected it yet. The Lucas was working out really yeah, yeah. well. He was actually down by two stocks in the beginning of that game, but then he suddenly brought it back and made it a last hit, last stock game. That's right. So, I mean, that's not really surprised with Shine sticking out with a... Uh, with Lucas, that's the right. downside of having so many uh, playable characters, though. Like at your tournament level, you always have that thought in the back of your head, like, should I switch? Yeah, and then if you lose, it's like I should have went so and so. Yeah. Yeah, or like, oh, I shouldn't have switched if you did. Exactly. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but this great aerial combo starting up right now. Oh, he's gonna have to make his way back up with that thunder. Miss space again, but no punish from Wadi. Yeah, okay, so just great pretend reversal. like he did it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, and he's trying to space out these airs once again. The way that he moves with those so smooth. Great nair. That does so much shield damage too, so you kind of have to respect it. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's also a great tool when it comes to crossing up as well. It makes it very difficult. Oh, but the down air not going <laughs> to connect. We see Shine getting grounded and then getting punished by an up air. Yeah, great timing on uh, these mashes. We haven't seen anyone be able to, or we haven't seen Wadi be able to up smash anyone out of that. Just a uh, great mashing to get out of it. These full hops from Wadi, so baity. Right. Looks like he's waiting for Shine to push a button and then like just to punish, but. Shine, of course, playing neutral as well. He's just kind of letting him jump. Right. And you see Wadi charging up that Sun Sai. Oh! Great volleyball, but it doesn't actually take the stock just yet. My man going to be able to get back to the stage with a tether. That thing's so stretchy. That's right. That snake goes really far. Yeah, man. All right, but now... Oh, the PK Fire going to knock him off to the left side here. And now it's his turn for the edge guard on Wadi. But he's just going to jump over everything. Oh, almost with a pivot grab. Back throw mm. definitely would have taken that stock. Right now that you mention it, we haven't really seen that many throws come out from Shine. Right. To be fair, Wadi jumping quite a bit. A little bit harder to catch him in one of those. That's true. Okay, volleyball at the ledge and down smash. Finally able to connect that. Yeah, exactly. We fit trainer got a pretty tall character, man. He's gonna get hit by that uh, down smash for sure. That's a re grab. Or wait, it didn't look like he. Okay, never mind. Doesn't matter. Dash attack. <laughs> Knock him off the left side. Yeah, of course. You know, glowing We fit trainer very strong. Right. Oh, he's gonna duck down. Try to go for that tilt. Oh, and there's a down throw. We're going to be able to follow up with the forward air. Right. Ooh, and almost spacing it up to get a spike hit of that. We've a trainer maybe would have been able to make it back from that either way, but still would have been clean. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, that definitely would have just put Wadi in a horrible situation, but what? Up throw into up throws? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about that? Alright, great forward airs right here. Wanted to get a PK fire, but Wadi opting to land right in front of him. Okay, chasing. Draw. Yep, falling with the Nair, and we see another Nair connecting onto Shine. Yeah, not timing a follow up one, though, so he couldn't continue the combo. Oh, oh but a good tilt. Mm -hmm. Okay, there the Zare trains coming oh from Shine. Try to land the back air to close it out. Are we going to do it again? Another Woo! carry carry. Forward air this time, gonna take him off to the right side and putting on so much damage too. Wadi able to get his deep breathing in and make it back with the up B, but still trapped on the ledge here and he's gonna have to re-grab if he does get to it, but all of these, oh my gosh! Wow, I'm so surprised that, that back air landed, but it didn't send Wadi out. Right. But that forward air will and almost catching him with the PK fires. Parrying that volleyball, he's just Shoot. gotta get it gone. Right. Oh, and he comes, I like how he comes in aggressively with that. <laughs> no grab on that! <laughs> Even Shine is shocked. <laughs> like, how did he not get that? <laughs> Okay, right. if, yep, if trying to recover back, use, using the directional air dodge, but get clipped by an up air, that almost takes the stock. Right. Oh, okay, so that can actually reflect the volleyball. It makes a lot of sense why he's been going for it as much as he has, and a throw comp, or yeah, throw definitely should be able to take that. Okay, yep, a little bit more deep breathing, calming down your nerves. Just right. putting himself in a position where he can take the stock. Woo! Great aerial combo right there, gonna rack him up to 33%. Body looking a little bit lost on how he can find the stock, but a dash attack will do it. And yeah, you saw Shine back up and throw out the reflect or the absorb, probably assuming that Wadi was going to uh, throw the sun salutation. Okay, falling there, but only one there is connect. Yeah, he's, I don't think Wadi perfectly has the timing just yet to get that, but yeah, trying to space those nairs once again is going to get him caught and almost eating a PK freeze. Yeah, very smart from Wadi to cancel out the deep breathing and then go stall with the the, the soccer ball. Yeah, uh, that would have been lights out if uh, for sure if it connected. As far over as he was, yeah. Alright, so gonna go for all three jabs on the shield right there, and it's getting knocked away by the Absorb. Good get-up attack, though. Oh, falling up air, or Nair into up air, and now Deep Breathing is online. The powerful Wii Fit Trainer is here. Yeah, you gotta be careful at 101%. So many things could take you out here, but the grab gonna knock him off the left side. <gasps> oh, oh, it's clipped by the PK fire, but he's still able to live. Stalling out and oh, actually oh. beating out the down smash, getting Luke Chine off stage. Yeah, so smart to go for that, man. If he did not, definitely would have got clipped by that down smash. Okay, Deep Breathing should be gone. Yeah, so you can see it wearing off there. Oh, okay, the nice tilt. The oh. aerial. Okay, so the back throw. Up throw? Oh, okay, okay. And very smart. Using his opportunity to make it back to stage. But another forward throw is going to not, not do it. And he faded back just a little bit to make sure he. Oh, oh, oh my god, the ball. Ball. Oh, another ball. Oh, ball. <laughs> Volleyball champion Wadi Rob. <laughs> Yo, send that man to FIFA. He has so much control of the soccer ball. Oh my gosh, the so ricochet hit off the stage and then throwing another one while he was trying to recover off the right side. Great stuff by Wadi. Uh, did you know that he was a champion volleyball player? Because no. I didn't know. I feel like I how, should know that. How many years of uh, soccer does Wadi have under his belt? Um, Zero. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure you want to add maybe a one or a two in front of that. No, zero. no, 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 no. That man <laughs> was making so many tricks with the soccer ball. Wow, okay, interesting. I mean, I know why do you used to play football, but well, volleyball? <laughs> all right, all right. That's not the same ball. You don't, you don't get to <laughs> ricochet football with, like, in football. You don't know. <laughs> all right, you're right. <laughs> Clearly he does. <laughs> you got it. Clearly he does. <laughs> wow, very impressive stuff. It did look like he was going to be able to take that. But, uh, I, you know, to be honest, not surprised that Wadi was able to clutch that out as his brother Jeb does play, Lu or at least he used to play Lucas in mm -hmm. Smash 4. So it's definitely a matchup that he has, like, a good handle on. Okay. Well... I see, uh, Senpai, I think that's uh, going to wrap it up for us. We've all had right. a bunch of good sets here. I mean, yeah, they've all been a lot of fun. But it uh, looks like we are going to be switching out casters. If you enjoyed our commentary, be sure to follow us on Twitter. Feel free. And, of course, we're always looking for feedback, right? Yes. So definitely hit us up. But don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We will. I need to learn more about Joker. That's definitely a character that I'm like, uh. <laughs> but to be fair, he's a week old, so. Yeah. I'm so mad. <laughs> All of Wadi's sets were annoying. He won, like, he won every single set with, like, some type of horse. Some type of, yeah, horse.
Oh, oh, very much good. Let's see. They're both recording, right? Yeah. 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 All right. I don't even think I'm going to need my laptop for this. Uh, Eon and Kana are putting off stream. Can you turn down four for me? Turn down four? Yes, please. Alright, I lowered it. That's not, maybe that's not you it. You said four. I, I think this is four. Either that or it's two. Hold on. Yeah, I was going to say two. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. So All I'm right. going to raise four a little bit up because I turned it down a little bit. Alrighty. There you go. Can you raise two just a little bit? Now I can't hear myself. All right, Sorry. Two? All right. How, how's that? This is perfect. All right, Thank cool. you. All right. All right. So then, can I actually be Eon? Can I be Eon and get out here, and then now he fights Elegant. Yeah. Okay. Can I be Eon? Maybe Jason. Jason be Con Con. Jason be Nintendo. Ah, oh, shit. All right, cool. Oh, you want, can I open? Or? Yeah, you can open. All right, great. You're better at it than I am, man. <laughs> I was waiting for it, and then we got. Man, I'm like, what? All right, guys, welcome back to MSM 186. Thank you for sticking around during yep. that break. And we are here. We got our top four settled in for today. Oh, yeah. And we got our loser semis. It's going to be K9 versus Elegant. But before that, just quick, I'm Sedge. This is Vance. All right, I'm Vance. Pleasure to see you guys yet again for another great night of Monday Night Smash. Uh, that's a time on all its own. If you're wondering how K9 got here, looking at the bracket, he actually eliminated.